What's up guys? Before we go ahead and jump into today's video guys, I just kind of wanted to uh, just talk about a few things just kind of going on in my personal life and kind of what's been off and everything that's been going on with the channel and just pretty much why I went from posting like two to three videos a week to this is like my first video in two weeks. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. So as most of you guys know, I got my pup Axel. I'll drop a picture of him. You guys have seen him since the very, very, very first video I've ever dropped on the YouTube channel. Like, he's been literally around the whole... Dude, this sucks. Uh, he's been around the whole time. Uh, the whole YouTube, the whole Honda Chevy, the whole... Pretty much the whole making of this. And um, I lost him. Uh, he passed away about... Um, oof, sorry, guys. This one's going to be hard. So, he passed away about a month and a half ago, guys. And uh, you could just see... You could just see the in the channel. Just I was sad, guys. Like I just lost my best friend, pretty much, and I, I didn't know how to handle it. Like uh, didn't really want to talk to anybody. I didn't really want to go to any events. Like I didn't really know kind of what to do because like like everywhere, pretty much everywhere I've gone, he's pretty much went as long as it's not an overnight event. Like he's been with me from the gate. So uh. Dude, that was hard, you know, guys. That one, that one took a toll on me. Uh, I haven't really opened up about it. I haven't really talked to any of my friends or family about it. It's just been uh, one of those real hard ones, guys. That I've been just battling with. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know if uh, when it's when you're kind of gonna go over it. You know, you got your five stages of grieving, and I'm definitely in the acceptance and talking stage of it now. I just uh, I didn't want to do anything, guys. I didn't. I didn't want to go to any events. I didn't want to. I didn't want to work in anything. I didn't want to do anything. So, so that happened. So we are we are bummed about that, guys. Like we just, you know, lost a very, very important important person in the channel, man. He was our mascot. He was like he was like best friend. So yeah, that was misfortunate. And then also just more life problems have been going on, guys. Like, I'll address that further into the video as we talk about the subtitle. We got a new project truck, but we got rid of a vehicle, too, for it. And explain to you along those lines of kind of what I'm doing, what movement I'm going with right now. So, yeah, guys, I just felt I should talk to you guys about that, why I've been so off from the last videos. I haven't really posted. I posted on Instagram. Uh, about two weeks ago a week ago and people asked me about it and I, I appreciate everybody reaching out about that and my relationship situation too I just appreciate it guys I just uh, I don't really talk that much about my personal life so that was kind of rough this is this is definitely new to me but you guys are my friends you know you guys are my, my people so enough on the sad stuff you know like life goes on but just really wanted you guys to kind of see where I was at you know what I mean like it's been a rough month and a half for me like I just went to work and sleep kind of so finally branching out from that I think uh and uh yeah so with that being said let's go ahead and jump straight into the YouTube video and uh just get it popping guys so yeah to the intro What's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, yeah, intro, you guys know a little bit what's going on with my life. I tend to just open up and be able to talk to you guys about anything in the future of what's going on and stuff because I really don't talk about a lot of stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys understand where I went and why everything's going that way. But in other news, so I know you guys, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had a 07 Chevy 1500. Uh, as you guys can see, it was clean. Had some rust issues. We picked it up, put it on the trailer. There was going to be a squatted truck build. 
I was gonna end up making this truck into something pretty nice. Um, it had the 5.3, really kind of clean little truck. It had some rust spots and everything. Uh, but, you know, things happen in life and switch directions and everything. So I ended up getting rid of that truck, guys. I got rid of a clean running 4x4 <sighs> Chevy. It was a nice truck. Everybody likes those years. It was a really nice clean truck. But, uh, but yeah, guys, so I got rid of it. And I kind of wanted to go back to something that I like personally, my personal favorite kind of vehicles, which are older. I am a older truck kind of guy. It's just, just what I like. It's just something I do, something I want to build. So this deal came along guys and I couldn't turn it down. And I'm just so happy to finally be able to introduce it to you guys in the channel because it is honestly like my favorite body style. So, ah, all right guys. So without further ado, here is the new project or new old or you guys some people might say it's dumb i mean if you leave a comment guys go ahead and leave a comment if you think this was a bad trade if i shouldn't have did this trade if you guys like it please let me know but anyways here we go this is our new bam new to us this is our 96 ford f250 four-wheel drive 7.3 guys i cannot tell you how excited i am to be working on this truck i am a 7.3 fan as most of you guys know i got a new body 7.3 and now what better way than to bring a obs 7.3 into the family guys um i don't know if a lot of you guys do know but i'll show you some of the goodies already so they went ahead and did already the single uh the straight axle front swap on it it had like that weird scissor axle i don't know the real definition of it but that's a really good pro that they already did um overall the body is pretty clean cap corners are good bed's a little bented up over there the fender's got a little bit guys but this is just stuff that we can work on in the meantime and how sick would it be to have an obs pulling an obs to events guys it is gonna be so legit but guys it's got a stack on it already really not a stack fan but i can't say no to it one of my favorite features on this truck right now guys is look How many tailgates can do that guys seriously i don't even gotta fight with it phenomenal so guys it does need work obviously i traded a perfectly running truck daily driven for a while there for this <laughs> so let's address the cons inside it's actually pretty clean inside guys it's actually not too too beat up uh it's got some interior stuff this door is our main corporate right now we're gonna have to fix its door i don't know if i'm gonna use this door in particular or just get a whole new door or weld it up because this handles off it broke off here so maybe i'll practice my thin welding on this guys and we got to get the window regular working on this side this window does roll down the door don't open though because the handle's broken simple stuff i would hope guys simple stuff moving on to this side the hood is beat um i think that the wind caught it when they were doing something with it guys and the wind ended up catching the, the hood and flinging it open and it bent right at the hinge so new hood okay all right we're starting to get into the nitty-gritty now so this side same thing guys pretty clean as you guys can see i have a water pump in here because we are going to be doing a water pump on it because the water pump is leaking out of it so just simple stuff like that guys but overall super happy about this truck man i am a just a 7.3 guy i think they're really good trucks i am just a fan of them so i hope you guys are excited for this build i'm freaking stoked and yeah let's just uh let's jump in take you guys for a ride in it we'll go up and down the street real quick and just tell me what you guys think about it so let's jump in you guys can hear a start here we'll start it real quick And here we go. It has zero blow by. It is ready to put in work. The front end still needs to be finished a little bit. The dry shaft is in the truck, but we got to finish up the front dry shaft and everything like that. But other than that, guys, it is a freaking unit. Besides the water pump, we're going to do the water pump. So I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Let me know in the comments. You guys think it's a good trade or not. We'll go ahead and uh, I'll meet you guys up on the road uh, and we'll go take it for a rip and we'll pick it up from there. So yeah, I'll see you guys on the road. Also, I forgot to note guys, uh, I didn't forget to note. So if you looked on there, it says super chip. 
and I'm pretty sure that whoever sold it last had a programmer on it and it's stuck on that setting because if anybody knows anything about 7.3s, they're kind of turds. They're not really, they're, they're tractor motors, you know what I mean? They're made of coal. But uh, she gets up and goes pretty good and she rolls coal. And I'm not a huge roll coal fan. I don't want you guys to think that, but it's uh, it's it's kind of crazy. Like here, I'll give you like a little peep. Yeah. And as most of you guys know, seven threes don't do that. They don't normally run like that. It's a great running little truck, though. I am freaking thrilled to have this thing. I. Legit, I get in it and I smile because it's just definitely my style. OBS is like my favorite body style of really any generation. Aside from like, you know, a, like 64, 65 Chevy. Like, I mean, truck, that's it though. Other than that, it's like my go-to. So, pretty soaked. It runs great. Like I said, not driving it too far to the water pump, but it's, it's just a blast. I'm just so excited to finally start working on it uh and yeah guys i hope you guys are excited too and the cool thing is there's parts everywhere for this thing like all the old boards of 150s and 250s like i can find a door if i needed to and we can go from there but guys i'm so excited to pull up to events with this truck with my obs on the back it's just it's almost like the coolest rig setup you know what i'm saying but I'm gonna get pull into the house now or pull back into the property and uh, just keep talking to you guys about it and see where you guys are at with it. So, hope you guys like it. You know, it sounds so cool. All right, let's get back into to the yard. So yeah, guys, that is the update on the new truck. Uh, I hope you guys are excited as I am. We really do enjoy these trucks and 7.3s and they're really, really pretty easy to work on for the most part, you know? So, lots to come with this truck updates on the honda chevy uh, i fired it up it sounded good sounded healthy uh i have a couple parts on order for it we're going to be doing a full power steering kit on it next that's going to be in the next few videos uh so that way i can really daily drive the truck and i'm swapping the electric doors for manual doors so we will be doing that next also on that truck so yeah guys that's just kind of an update on my life and everything that's kind of going on i just I'm just slowly getting through it guys. It's just it's been a rough been a rough few 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 months for me. So I hope you guys understand and I'm happy you guys are along for the ride. Uh, I mean I'm slowly like I mean I don't mean to say I'm I was out of it or anything. I just food didn't taste right, nothing tasted good, you know what I mean? Like life wasn't just it for me right now. So it's all right, I got a couple more issues I'll address in the next and upcoming videos, but that was just kind of the one of the bigger ones. We also have a, an also bigger problem going on, but you know what, we'll, that's enough for that today. You know what I'm saying, guys? So I appreciate every single one of you guys for following and liking the channel and continuing to grow with me. And just thank you guys for just hanging on for the ride. And just these last, these last three months, man, are just taking a toll on me. But, uh, positivity guys we're gonna stay up everything's gonna be good uh but yeah that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's youtube video sorry guys for like the short flick sorry for just dropping some news on you guys but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh please just continue just to comment i like your guys's comments you guys are really nice and uh yeah let's get this thing road worthy let's put that the water pump in it let's start getting this thing to some events with the truck and just get it popping guys so I'll see you guys next video.